a whole bunch of stranger missions. Uh, we need to go see Dutch. Uh, Mr. Angelo Bronte. Yep. I'm gonna, like, when I'm having to work overtime these next few weeks when I stream, I'm gonna try to stream for at least three hours each night. Somewhere around three hours. About two and a half to three hours is the goal. What do you mean? What, what do you mean, bro? I'm just riding my horse through the street. Mm-hmm. That's what my hat out. That's not my hat. That's my hat. Ooh. Something just cra hold on, did something just crash? Oh they crashed. Good morning. Oh, we got another mission to do too. I'm gonna go see Dutch real quick. Home rolling. After we beat Red Dead 2, I do want to go back to playing scary games. And speaking of scary games, I bought Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, so I will be playing that and all the other chapters. Because I do want to go back and replay them. Come in, bro. Did he drink? Oh my god! Where they at? They over here on the steps. How y'all two doing? Angelo Bronte, a man of honor. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? I stub my uh, toe, God, to help me chat. It hurts. I'm in pain. You power, money. Now, you see my listen. mic in the webcam? If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Like don't go in there shooting. A lot of protection. No one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust Are you me. sure about that? This place <clears throat> must be. You okay, John? I guess. I got me some drip. I'm looking good, John. You need to get your riz and drip up, my boy. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you got your hands up. <laughs> You get your boss down here and now so we can talk. Why is it doing this? About this like gentlemen. It didn't start doing this until we got past the road section of the game. Look my graphics. Let's try it. Yeah, this is set to high and see if they'll fix the lagging and stuff. Hey, Kaylin, how you doing? I don't want to restart my game. This is play if it keeps lagging we'll restart the game Run along now, boy. oh god I might have to restart the game aren't I Was that the special yeah we're shot? gonna restart Red Dead 2 real quick so maybe it's from setting the texture quality from ultra to high will fix the lag listen Listen up, listen good. Everything I play is great. Everything I play is good. That's not, what do you mean? What do you mean? Listen here, buddy. Listen, I'm gonna get a career close and personal with you on this mic, right? Listen here. You smell like beef, you built like a number two pencil, I. You can't even pick up a couch cushion, my boy. You weak. Crash ass game. Use this in here. All my games are great. All right. Far Cry 5, great. Condemned, great. There you are. Ready you to, ready? great. Of course. What else do you know about this guy? This is slander. Oh, man, that's just see some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, oh, God, I can't breathe. If we go in there, Chad, call we'll help. Start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. You chant, look at my drip I got for Arthur, You're looking good. No one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust well, you me. can't read it to a crack it's game, buddy. Cause I'm playing that right now on screen. What you talking okay about, Willis? Now? Huh? I guess. What you talking about? Excuse me, sir. I don't know. Yeah, I'm listen here, buddy. That, it's like I can't defend myself. I can't defend myself. He's right. I am fat. Damn it. He won this one. Talk about this like gentlemen. 
Run along now, boy. Kalen, defend me. You're my moderator. Defend me. Get him back with another shit talk quote or something. So much about? Relax. I got this. <laughs> well, it's not lagging anymore, so that fixes the issue. Don't take a charge, buddy. Listen no here. Boys. If you lift up your shirt right now, I guarantee you there's a whole ass large pizza on that belly, buddy. Listen here. Call me Tubby, you Tubby. I I go outside work. What you talking about? <laughs> oh God. Uh, Angelo Bronte. You put a whole Domino's restaurant on your sky. Why are you yeah. taking uh, Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Listen, but I told you, sound lunch will return tomorrow. Already, I'm just working on stuff. In my presence. Why don't you give me that salute emoji? Indeed, you have. My now, moderators will not defend me in chat. I see how it is. Simple country folk. Kaylin, oh, if you're still in chat, I hope you stub your big toe. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex slavers. Yes, there, that is my mother with in the anyone. background. Yes. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we. We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that did a very stupid woman. Out. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, God. Well, of course, I know you would not want that, huh? We gotta do some work for no, him, don't no, we? No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh no, grave robbing. For it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you. No, you Mr. cannot, up, Joe. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right, we gotta get to the cemetery. Where is the cemetery? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Where we going here? Go you right know there. where Jack is. Listen, Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Hey. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. 
I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Brantz for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte... I'm sorry, this city looks now, nice, so no I like the look of this place. Me. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. I just hope you're right. Oh, those are the execution place where they hang the criminals. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Where? Over here? You just hitch it to anything or what the hell? Alright, it's not letting me do that, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Lead the way, John. No gun. I do have a gun. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. This sounds easy. I do want to try out the new pistol. I'll buy the M1899 pistol. Oh, it's eight rounds. I'm pretty sure all they did was add like the online weapons to the to the gun stores on here. I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. Cause I don't. Oh, I see somebody. Somebody's running over there in the mist. There's a dog here barking. I'll go. Hold on. Boy. Hey there, boy. You get out of the cemetery. How about that? I'm going. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Hmm. Like, wait a second. Over here? Somebody's coughing. Oh, bro. Sorry. Uh, All right, bud. I had a bit to drink. Maybe a bit friend. too much to drink. Uh, oh. Damn. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. If Undead Nightmare from Red Dead One's anything to take into account, that is true. Okay, gotta be over here somewhere. What is going on? <laughs> oh god. Over there. Oh. Over there. Get in cover. Hey, jump. Over here. I don't have my shotgun, do I? You want to my pappy's watching? Oh! It's an ambush. Uh, hold on, let me get my guns out. Get my pistol. How many you see? You should pay Mr. Bronte. I do like this pistol better than the volcanic one. Okay, it reloads a lot quicker too. You went this way. He's over here, so he's right. He's right behind here. No, he gone. There's a lot less damage though. I got tackled. Get him! Oh, get on the ground, buddy. That shot. Ooh. I'm that good, chat. I'm that good. Yeah, I mean, fire rate. It has a better fire rate, but less damage, so. I do like it, though. That sounds like a bad idea. Peek around the corner. Yeah, shot. You sure about that? Let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go Give back Bronte empty-handed. Give me. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. 
Like about nineteen dollars. Good God! Why all these people have so much money now? Everybody I've been looting has like nineteen to twenty dollars on them. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for. God, I am looting for money. You listen here, you little shit. Chocolate bar. Is that it? I think there might be something in here. The little back thing here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. It's the Pope Pope. We gotta go. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can Run. get out of the gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. I feel like a bad idea. Come on. Either way. We best stick to the side. Coming this way, get down. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Yeah, hey, go that way, buddy. Stay close. Right, we gotta avoid the police. Uh, yeah, they're heading this way. It looks like right behind us. Now they're going the opposite direction. Or wall or whatever. Me too. Why don't you go left? I'll keep going straight, right? How convenient. Alright, we can make it through the gate now. Definitely. Come on, Queen. Mm. Let's get back to Dutch. Yeah, back to Bronte's Manor. Let's go. Get away from the police. What's the problem? Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Hmm. Let's just get back there. Let's go outside the field. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. All right, we're good. That's in. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Be... Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hmm. Seems sketchy, but all right. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that for taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? 
Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Do you know cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which uh, one? Something like that. At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get oh, you turkeys are out again. No oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Mm, we're almost at Shady Bell. Surprisingly easy. Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. <laughs> Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> yeah, they're getting ready to scam them. Well, I think well, they'll learn about that by now. It ends badly for everybody in the gang. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He said, Mal. He's back, all right. <laughs> Damn it, Arthur. Hey, Easy there, John. Come on, are we celebrating? Check the map. Canyon. Uh, eh. We may. <laughs> Who's the companion? Those are right there outside the door. I have that. I want the gun oil. Can't take the gun oil. I'm good. travel is there anything here I can take of importance like we can pass the time we'll do the next mission
Mm -mm 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 -mm. We got a letter? No? What the letter? Focus on letter. Okay, gotta figure this out. If I go in first person, there we go. Give me my dear Arthur. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Hmm. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed <clears throat> to do so. Oh, God. Yours, Mary. Okay, so she wants us to help again. Okay, here we go. Man. She is all the way up there. I just fast travel to her through the map. Do that. Wait, Denise, here we go. I don't know if we can fast travel back to the camp or not. I don't remember. Give you all it load. Yeah. Right. Definitely keeping the slow. Sh I can't say it. The uh, Schofield or Schofield, right? Revolver? I about to say rifle. It's a revolver. What? Do that. Don't put that. I'm done with the police seeing that. Oopsie. side quest around here look out M3 yeah, she is out oh, there up here I see you came yeah I came so uh what do you need wait there I'm coming straight down so back to this. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You 
came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Mm, no help. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. He's trying to buy a horse or something? District near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. All right, so we need to go this way. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. Ah. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually <laughs> falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but mm -hmm. it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Right, losing money and, and all that. Left and right, yep. Mixing with bad people. This is the place. What are you doing? I'm walking in. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. He asked for it. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Been so to me to my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own daughter. Right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please yeah. come home. Bring it to his own tired, daughter. Daddy, tired I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. 
He does not look Damn. in good condition. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow All right. him. Brett wants to have his last sight. Where'd he go? This way. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. Oh, I thought he was gonna turn around. He went around the corner. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. He just thought he threw up, didn't he? We'll just follow the smell. Arthur. <laughs> he just went between those crates. He can see his footsteps in the mud. Come here, quick. I don't think so. I can feel the muscles of my leg trying to cramp up right now, and I'm scared it's gonna cramp up. It's like a taking time bomb right now. Clean off your face. Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. Well, there we go. This is kind of fun. Shh, I'll hear you. Cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Great. Alright, turn just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go. I don't tell him what he's doing. He's probably gonna pawn something off. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What are you doing? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Brooch? Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a piece to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's Been found. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. I'll try not to. Where do you go? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Oh, we gotta go with this horse. Alright, the chase. Can I catch him? Come on. You hear me? Stop the damn coat. Maybe. Alright, it says I can't shoot the driver. So we just gotta chase them until they stop. Or something happens. Oh, I'm starting to catch up to him. Ooh. Come here. See a rainbow. Come here, buddy. Run for me. Gotta 
I need to jump on the wagon. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, but get out of here. Time to secluded spot. I bet. Nice. Got something that I want, buddy. You're making a big mistake. Nah. Only mistake you made is buying that brooch, but I need it back. Ooh. Where are you taking me? Off road. Do, do, do. Okay Pull them out. out Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. Mm -hmm. it Give wasn't me a Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. I don't care. Yeah, Give me you want for it. I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. It's only a hundred. I got like thirteen hundred left. Yeah, take the damn thing. Mm hmm Thank you. Crazy son of a bitch. Yeah, you don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Okay, then, girl. It's gonna take our running out into the swamp. Mm hmm. back so maybe we'll get some good honor out of it where's your father i don't know you want me to go find him again please Not don't really. thank god well, let's take a walk i'll take you to the trolley thank you uh, uh, got you your brooch back i won't ask Probably best not. I just bought it back. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Mmm. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Mary, I don't think that's a very good idea. Sure, I understand. You're still walking me to the trolley, though. Of course. Mm -hmm. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh, is it too late for us, Arthur? Mm, never too late. I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. Mm. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. If I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. 
but part two of that mission got completed. Let's go. No. My horse. Yeah, we do gotta get back to camp for the other missions. Uh, where is my horse? Is all the way over there. Uh, do my best mission. Then we'll do Jose's mission where we get to that party, it looks like. I just gotta get my damn horse. All the way over here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, a bit of my stamina core more. Do, 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 do. Am I close enough for it to call? I think it is. Oh, yeah, it's right there in the stable area. Morse. Hey, good looking horse there. Got horses I got. Ooh. There's room in the stable. this one it shall too be named Al Capone as all are little fine grooming always sets off a horse <laughs> I got the service thing too. Sounds good. All right, so this is my current one, right? It's an Arabian horse too. Those are good ones, I think. Pretty sure the Arabian horses on here are the good ones. To camp at Shady Bell. Not wild piggies. Oh, wow, what that is not wild. Oh, 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 what's going on here, buddy? All right. Strong. Help me. Thanks. Please. What happened to you? I need medicine. Give me health care. Where do you have like a wild bear or something? You all right? Okay. Just tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Why would you just try a random plan? Give me. The one with the pink flowers. How you doing, General Lee boys? Welcome to the stream. Thanks, mister. I wonder is a poisonous herb. Well, no wonder it felt like a good shot. Damn. Alright, we gotta get back to camp for our missions. Oh, it's getting real dark. Oh, easy there, easy now. Hey, me. It's me. Oh, yo. Oh, I definitely need my food for the camp. We're low on food. I don't know where the where. Oh. 
There. I do what I want when I want. Is there a donation box? I don't see. Oh, it's upstairs. Eh. Donate later. Yeah. Where's Mary Beth? Gotta do her mission. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> oh, God, they're getting to know about yeah. that. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. Whoa. Uh -oh. She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along. The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Okay. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Right, we gotta go save Tilly. She got kidnapped. Quick. She's in road? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. Well, what do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You oh, that was a while ago. Wasn't it the beginning of the reason, game? Clearly, they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. Oh, the wrong time. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Did he? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay. Hmm. I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah, where is Kieran? I haven't seen Kieran in a while. And in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there. Uh -huh. our girl. <laughs> He's giving the shot good. He just straight up pulled a knife out and stabbed him in the neck. In there. Pull him in here. Knock knock. Can I kick it? Tell him to kick it. Why we wouldn't let me pull out my gun? They can't focus on Tilly. Why can't I bring out my gun? I thought there was. It don't matter what 
what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of him, I think. Well, mm. we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Oh. Really, grab that They're running. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the ball. Uh, bring my revolver. All right, get after them. There, straight ahead. I'm going. Hey, shot. Let's go. You got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. Well, as fast as I can. Oh, I wasn't supposed to kill him, was I? Oh, we're not supposed to kill the leader. Okay. I've been asked to know about that earlier. Oh, he's getting dragged by the horse. Can't see him. Oh, he's up in about a good distance, isn't he? You've got a couple more seconds to regret one. Hey, shot. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Last of him and we'll take him back to two. Bet. Come on. Rope that bastard. Don't I get closer. Get I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You don't know who you're dealing with. Yeah. Make sure you time up real good. Mm -hmm. Nah, buddy, you come with me. Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Where's place? Roger, Roger. I like the look of this horse. It looks cool. An Appaloosa. You have the first idea what you're getting into. Nope. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, okay. Thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel Not my so issue, good. buddy. You're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna... Oh, right. Here's your man. Do, 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 do. Give me him. Dump him on the ground here. Okay. Good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. We'll spare him. All right, you. <laughs> Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Mm. All right. 
I mean, it's my yeah, my horse is all the way back at camp, isn't it? Oh, we went a good distance away from camp. Crying. Let's cut through the woods and all that and be quicker. Worst case scenario is that we hit a cliff and end up flying off of it over it. I think the horse is dead. Got yep. Yeah, I need to start paying attention when I'm going through the trees. I think that's the third time I've done that in this game. <laughs> What is his mission? Hold on, what's Uncle's mission here? Rustling? Nah, I'm good. Alright, who's we what got? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. They never learn. Is this going to lead to more trouble for the gang? <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. I bet last year. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a mm. thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. Mm -hmm. Surely nothing bad happens in this area, right? Uh, surely not. You arrive. 
<laughs> and you've lost for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... Well, then... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. But I'm not taken. None taken. Okay. <laughs> Bronte is definitely Always not to be trusted. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> oh, I'll show you yeah. to the party, gentlemen. If Why you would he say me. that? It just seems like a tryout. What was in that room? Can you close that door to make sure we didn't see in there? Well, I'm wondering if there's some valuable stuff Gentlemen, in there. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. Ciao, ciao. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Yeah, I don't like Bronte right now. Nothing unless it's information. Of course, Jose, you go find us some place to run. Bill, go make us some new friends. I say the mayor was right here, wasn't he? such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint-Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. 
I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Oh. Take him over here. Me? Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Now we just gotta go back to these guys, don't we? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. Is this quite a place you got here? <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. I want to avoid Cornwall for stealing from his train and from his wagons and stuff. Keep my distance. Let him get further away. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he wants. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. So they do have the place around here garden as well. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. This house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. Really you won't send me right here, right? Now get out of my sight. Bit of an ass, but okay. Going upstairs. The guy in there, run there, bud.
All right, still the ledger. I mean, there's like a little lockpick thingy. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Hmm. We're taking it. All right, yep, get back to Dutch. Let's go. Got some important, I guess we're gonna steal from Cornwall again, which I don't know why we would. That's a terrible idea. We saw him twice already, the train and the wagons. He even sent Hitman out for us, so that's a very terrible idea to go after him again for a third time. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us I about. wouldn't trust I that one, Dutch. High poker game. Come on. The trolley station doesn't sound like a good one. I don't know why he would trust Bronte. He doesn't seem very trustable. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Hmm. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times, <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. I mean, I could be wrong about the trolley thing. The trolley thing could be have some decent money for all we know. What kind of missions do we got? Uh, we'll do this one. Stranger one. Right up behind me, damn. Out of the way. Seem well, River? Yes. Well, oh God, I can't leave. Maybe I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've 
I've given up on all that. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yes. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Get okay. your head out of the clouds. I'll, I'll probably do that, I don't know. There's a little side mission. Yep. Alright. No, I could just fast travel, I guess, to Saint Denis. I'm pretty sure that was a raccoon I heard. Yeah, okay, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a dead horse. Can you help me? Nope. You got that part of walk. I mean, St. Denis is right there. Hell. Mission should just be right over here. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you, Mister? I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately, so, Mister. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rainsfall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train. Crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. Oh, that was them. At the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. Well, that was them at the very hard. beginning of the game we've when the wagon wheel broke off treaties, near the river. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, yes, and but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state mm -hmm. government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Money? How much? How much? 
I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. That is true. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. How convenient, right when they're about to leave. Okay. So I can do that right now, or do I gotta wait on that mission? That is... Somewhere. Somewhere over here, if I remember right. I have a bounty of 175 over there. Good God. I can go pay it off, actually. Where is a... Yeah, post office right there. Go there, we'll pay it off. Oh, thanks for, uh, thanks for the follow, Sporting Nation Pro. Very much appreciated. Oh, it's the Gavin dude again. Oh, no, he was in Rhodes. Now he's here. He's following me. Oh, how about hit that pole? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think I ever heard that dude before in the game. So, how do I get in here? Oh. Right here? I want to pay bounty. Christ. You got the money to pay all that off? So, uh, oh, I didn't know, spend most of my money, damn. Right, so, what is this one? Riverboat mission? Uh, we'll do the riverboat mission, then I'll probably end stream. I was gonna start a stream a lot earlier tonight, but uh, some things came up. So hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to start up a little bit earlier. Be closer to like a three hour stream or something. Right, right over here. Just what is the matter with you? What's the trouble with Most you? Most goat Oh, ooh, 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 barely. Oh, we fell. Damn. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? I know oh, the botcher. <laughs> play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. Can't. Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob uh, the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? A that suit does not fit for the purpose at hand. Come Did on, not? boy. Come on. I look good. Damn. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Three piece town suit. Look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. Is this only one, really? A bitter and jealous people. Okay. Oh, good choice, sir. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck. I don't need a haircut, do I? I got short hair. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. Is it? What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. 
You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. Mm. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Oh, so he's going to be able to see their cards and tell me if it's a good, and if they're good or not. Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. Mm. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. This is so Javier going to be dressed up as one of the guards. Oh, I feel like that's what's going to happen. So jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. Mm, hopefully. Oh, so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a mm. lick of manners or gentlemanly go. deportment. That was the Well, very good, sir. No, Graham. it's not good. There, very not good smart. at all. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Nice. All right. Mm-hmm. I saw a bunch of kids George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win here up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Does he know it's everybody? A man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Mm. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a he, very good friend of mine. all, he knows everybody, apparently. Damn. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Hmm. Oh, there's a riverboat. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Got the waves, kid. Trying to lift the joint. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. <laughs> now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Hopefully. There they are. Gentlemen. How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. Well, we left our all guns on the uh, coach, didn't we?
It'd be fine, okay. man. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple. I wouldn't say that, Trelawney. Damn. Time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? So, the poker table right here. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. I bet. Play some poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less oh. dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. Three hundred. Join already. We aim to please, sir. Uh. So, no. How are we all fair? Fold. Some better than others. You should have said no, so we're gonna fold. Now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but Queen yes, ten seven. you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. Two queen, uh, three queens. Queen high, king high, king high. Ooh. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Ooh. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. Don't get too cocky. You're going to go all in. I'm going to win it all. Mr. Callahan. I'm an oil man for my sins. I was just going to go busting poker. I heard of you. Oh, you will. From my cards. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. Oil. I don't think you have a future on Go the all stage. in. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Wanna go there? I bet. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. Long Queen. Oh, we win. Shit. Went broke. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. What? That is uncalled for, buddy. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. Mm. Oh. A Reutlinger, no less. Ooh. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. I got one so, more round. There's no Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. I got two kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. All right, all in. Well, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Strauss did shake his head yes, so Air we're going all in. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Mm. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? We shall indeed. I want watch. Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. 
Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. <laughs> well, you're having quite the night. True. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, hey, yo. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Let's point that gun Very right good. at those two. I'm just saying. Terrible gun safety. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I, I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, guess it's in that room. Yeah, I see the save. Got another dude in there as well. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take mm -hmm. your time. Oh, don't reach for that gun. Take his gun. Disarm him. I bet. Your gun. Ooh. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? I had to. He draw the gun. Give me all the money. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Yeah, but they probably like more than likely he heard the gunshot. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Oh, yeah, they're looking. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I got swim. I'm too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we can still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Mm -hmm. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> look. There's your friend. No, sir. My friend is not a noble chief, and I beg Oh, he thinks we were cheating. He probably knows. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh. Oh, he's getting real now. What? What was he doing? He just did a fucking 360 spin. I got anybody else see that? Hey, fucking 360 spin. Try to do a trick shot out here. God, that was unexpected. Oh, there's a dude behind me. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I'm right there. Ooh. Go, 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 go. On the edge. We gotta swim all the way back to the city, damn. Big L. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, 
How much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. Hopefully, the and watch still works. We did on the water. Well, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Roitlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Roitlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Six that that's a good one. Six thousand total. Uh, I am gonna end the stream here since it's almost ten. I do got work tomorrow. But whenever I get off work tomorrow I will be streaming this again. Keep streaming this until we beat it, and then we'll go back into playing scary games. I'll probably play time chapter three. I plan on replaying chapter one and two before I play three, so be ready for that this weekend if we get this beat by Saturday or Sunday, hopefully. So, tomorrow stream, hopefully, I'm going to try to get started around 7 tomorrow if, it, if nothing happens after work, hopefully. But I hope y'all enjoyed the content in the stream, and I hope to see y'all tomorrow in the next one. Bye-bye.